Ever gaze up at the stars and think just what is out there? The vastness of space has always held mysteries that, despite our best efforts, continue to elude our understanding. Let's journey through some of the universe's most confounding, unexplained mysteries. The Boots Void, often referred to as the Great Nothing, stands as one of the largest and most mysterious voids in the universe. This immense expanse is situated in the Boots constellation, giving it its evocative name. While the scale of celestial objects can often be hard to grasp, the sheer size of this void is genuinely staggering. With a diameter of approximately 330 million light-years, the Boots Void's vastness is unparalleled. To help put this into perspective, you could fit our Milky Way galaxy into this space around 2,000 times. Even in the grand tapestry of the universe, where colossal galaxies and nebulae are commonplace, the Boots Void is an anomaly due to its sheer emptiness. When astronomers look at the universe, they generally see a web-like structure, where galaxies are linked in intricate patterns with vast spaces in between known as voids. These voids are not completely empty. Typically, they contain a few galaxies scattered within their bounds. However, what makes the Boots Void peculiar is the extreme scarcity of galaxies inside it. Considering its massive size, scientists would expect to find at least a few thousand galaxies within this region. Instead, to their astonishment, only about 60 galaxies have been detected so far. This means that less than 0.1% of the Boots Void's volume contains galaxies. The reason for such a sparse distribution is a question that has left many astronomers scratching their heads. While voids are formed as a result of the gravitational forces of matter pulling everything into dense regions, the Booty's Void's barrenness doesn't fit typical models. Some theories speculate that the void is simply a massive region where conditions were never conducive to galaxy formation. Others propose that it might be the result of a significant cosmic event or anomaly that we have yet to understand. The discovery of the Boots Void was relatively recent in astronomical terms. Robert Kirshner and his team of astronomers first identified it in the mid-1980s. Using redshift surveys to study galactic distributions, they were taken aback when they encountered a region with a startling absence of galaxies. The vastness and emptiness of the Boots Void were so unexpected that the findings prompted multiple surveys to confirm its existence. The Boots Void's existence challenges our understanding of the universe's structure. Its sparse galaxy distribution and enormous size continue to be subjects of investigation and fascination for astronomers. Every new piece of data regarding this cosmic mystery pushes us to refine our models of the universe's evolution and structure, reminding us that the cosmos still holds many secrets waiting to be unveiled. Galaxies are mesmerizing structures, often likened to grand cosmic whirlpools, teeming with billions of stars, gas and dust. They dance to the rhythm of the universal forces at play. One would expect that the stars on the outskirts of a galaxy would orbit the galactic center more slowly than those closer in, much like the planets in our solar system. The inner planets like Mercury and Venus orbit the Sun faster than the outer ones, such as Neptune. This expected behavior is rooted in the laws of classical mechanics. However, the reality of galaxies presents a mystery that has puzzled astronomers for decades, the galaxy rotation problem. When astronomers began to measure the rotation curves of galaxies, they found something entirely unexpected. Using advanced techniques like Doppler shift observations, they found that stars situated in the outer regions of galaxies were moving at similar speeds to those near the center. Instead of rotation curves tapering off in the outer reaches, they remained surprisingly flat. This meant that stars on the periphery of galaxies were moving much faster than traditional physics would predict. So what could be causing these stars to defy expectations? The first indication of this problem emerged in the late 1970s when Vera Rubin, an astrophysicist, observed the rotation curves of spiral galaxies. Her observations showed that the speed of star rotations remained almost constant across galaxies. This was baffling because according to the known laws of gravity and the observable matter within these galaxies, such rotation shouldn't be possible. One leading solution to the galaxy rotation problem has been the hypothesis of dark matter. While it sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, dark matter is a form of matter that doesn't emit, reflect or absorb light. It doesn't interact with electromagnetic forces, which means it doesn't produce electromagnetic radiation and as a result remains invisible. 
However, it does exert gravitational forces, and it's these forces that might be influencing the unexpected rotation curves. The idea is that a halo of this invisible dark matter surrounds galaxies, providing the extra gravitational pull required to keep the stars at the outskirts moving at the speeds they do. In fact, if the existence of dark matter were confirmed, it would account for approximately 85% of the total matter in the universe, making the cosmos as we know it the proverbial tip of the iceberg. Several experiments and observations have been set up globally to detect dark matter, either directly or indirectly. From deep underground labs trying to detect the elusive particles that dark matter might be made of, to powerful telescopes mapping the gravitational effects on light from distant galaxies, the hunt for dark matter is on. The galaxy rotation problem serves as a striking example of how the universe often throws curveballs our way, challenging our understanding and pushing us to seek answers beyond conventional knowledge. Whether the solution lies in dark matter or another, yet undiscovered phenomenon, this cosmic riddle remains one of the most tantalizing in the realm of astrophysics. In the grand tapestry of the cosmos among stars, galaxies and vast voids, there exists an intriguing anomaly that has left astronomers both curious and confounded. The Great Attractor. This entity, a region in space, exerts an immense gravitational force, tugging on not just our Milky Way but also numerous other galaxies. But what makes it so compelling is the fact that its true nature remains largely unknown, concealed behind the expansive region known as the Zone of Avoidance. The discovery of the Great Attractor came about through observations of cosmic flow patterns. When astronomers studied the movement of galaxies, they expected a somewhat random distribution due to the expansion of the universe. Instead, they found a peculiar pattern. Many galaxies, including our very own Milky Way, were drifting in a specific direction at an abnormal speed, roughly 600 kilometers per second. This drift wasn't just a gentle cosmic dance, it was as if an unseen force was pulling these galaxies toward a specific point in space. Situated about 220 million light-years away from us, in the direction of the constellation Centaurus and Hydra, the Great Attractor is neither a single entity nor a particular point in space. Instead, it's a region packed with galaxies forming a massive gravitational center. Given the vast distances and scale involved, pinpointing its exact nature is challenging. But one thing is clear. Its gravitational influence is equivalent to a mass of tens of thousands of Milky Ways. What adds to the allure of the Great Attractor is its location behind the aforementioned zone of avoidance. This zone is filled with dense cosmic dust and gas, making it extremely hard for telescopes to peer through, thus masking a significant portion of the observable universe from our view. So while we can gauge the effects of the Great Attractor's gravitational pull, gaining a clear visual on what lies behind that dusty curtain has been a challenge. Using radio telescopes and X-ray observatories, scientists have managed to pierce through some of this obscurity. They've identified several clusters of galaxies in that region, including the Norma Cluster, which is one of the most massive galaxy clusters known. Could the cumulative gravitational force of these clusters account for the pull we've labelled as the Great Attractor? As technology and observational methods improve, we're slowly gathering more pieces of this vast cosmic puzzle. The Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, for instance, promises future revelations about this area. For now, the Great Attractor serves as a testament to the universe's endless mysteries, reminding us that for every question we answer, countless others wait to be explored. When one pictures the universe, the imagery might be that of a vast, unending expanse dotted with stars, planets, galaxies and cosmic phenomena. But behind this imagery lies a more intricate question about the very shape and geometry of our universe. Astronomers and cosmologists have wrestled with this question for decades. What is the shape of the universe? And intriguingly, most evidence points to the conclusion that the universe is flat. First and foremost, what does a flat universe even mean? It doesn't imply that the universe is a two-dimensional sheet. Instead, Flat, in this context, refers to the geometry of space itself. In a flat universe, the rules of Euclidean geometry hold true on the largest cosmic scales. That means parallel lines will never meet. The interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees and so on. One of the primary ways scientists have come to this flat universe conclusion is through the study of the cosmic microwave background radiation. 
The CMB is the afterglow of the Big Bang, a faint whisper of radiation that fills the universe. By studying the patterns within this radiation, scientists can infer the geometry of the universe. One of the key observations is the size of certain patterns or spots in the CMB. If the universe were curved like a sphere, these spots would appear larger, and if it were saddle-shaped, they'd appear smaller. Yet observations from satellites like the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe and the Planck Satellite have shown that these spots are just the size expected for a flat universe. Another compelling piece of evidence for a flat universe comes from the study of large cosmic structures like clusters of galaxies. Their distribution and the manner in which they bend light, gravitational lensing, are consistent with a universe where space is flat and not curved. But why should the universe be flat? The inflationary theory of the early universe provides a possible answer. According to this theory, in the first fleeting moments after the Big Bang, the universe underwent an incredibly rapid expansion faster than the speed of light. This expansion stretched out any initial curvature the universe might have had, leading to a cosmos that appears flat across even the largest distances we can observe. It's worth noting that when we say the universe is flat, we're referring to the observable universe, the part of the cosmos we can currently see. What lies beyond that, or whether the universe might curve on scales even grander than we can currently fathom, remains one of the big open questions in cosmology. In essence, the concept of a flat universe challenges our everyday understanding and introduces a fascinating perspective on the vastness of the cosmos. While our observations currently support the idea of flatness, the universe has always been full of surprises emphasizing the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of our understanding of the cosmos. And as always, thanks for watching.